But back now to our top story today, the fallout from last night's presidential debate. Sir Frank Luntz spoke to 24 voters from the Denver area who watched it. Here's what they told him about what they saw. Megan, we came to ground zero, the suburbs of Denver, Colorado. In fact, the suburb that we're in right now has decided more presidential races are voted correctly in more presidential races than almost any community in America. Well, let's see what you thought. How many of you were undecided when you walked in here? Raise your hands. The entire group of 24 people. How many of you decided because of tonight? Raise your hands. More than half of you. How many decided for Barack Obama? One. How many decided for Mitt Romney? So it's clearly a good night for Mitt Romney. I want to go right to the dials. This is at the very beginning of the debate. When Mitt Romney talked about the five points of his program that he would implement if he got elected president, both Republicans and Democrats dialed it up. Let's take a look. My plan has five basic parts. One, get us energy independent, North American energy independent. That creates about four million jobs. Number two, open up more trade, particularly in Latin America. Crack down on China if and when they cheat. Number three, make sure our people have the skills they need to succeed and the best schools in the world who are far away from that now. Number four, get us to a balanced budget. Number five, champion small business. It's small business that creates the jobs in America. And over the last four years, small business people have decided that America may not be the place to open a new business. So you tell me, why did, why, what's so good about that program? Why was it so positive to you all? Somebody. It's, it's, not, it's just not correct. I mean, there's some issues here you have to look at. I mean, if you cut people's taxes, great. Who doesn't want that? On the other hand, if you're going to give them, take away that same money by, by changing out the loopholes, you end up with the same thing. Why is that going to provide more jobs than with today? Nobody's going to have extra money. You guys. I like that, I like that Romney created guiding principles that both Democrats and Republicans could participate in the decision and implementation of the program. I think Romney has a very specific plan. He's focused on five specific things, but most of it is jobs. He's all about getting people back to work, raising more revenues because of jobs, and therefore not having to raise taxes like he have to. It would appear to be about leadership and being able to bring people together. Not, not issues. dividing people. Not issues. Leadership. That's an attribute. It is, but it translates into the individual issues. You have to be able to bring divergent opinions together and craft an outcome. We haven't seen that for four years. The interesting yeah. thing about the health care uh, debate back and forth was that they actually had more similarities than they had differences, uh, at least in that format. Um, but the distinctive difference was that uh, Mitt Romney kept going back to, which I thought resonated with me, was the bipartisanship buy-in. Maybe you get to the same conclusion, maybe you don't, but you have bipartisan participation that makes it real and relevant going forward. Now, it's interesting you said that because the issue that both of you dialed up, both candidates, was health care. In fact, this is one of the highest moments for Barack Obama during the entire debate is when he talked about what he was trying to protect why he passed his health care plan. Let's take a look at the reaction. So what this board does is basically identifies best practices and says, let's use the purchasing power of Medicare and Medicaid to help to institutionalize all these good things that we do. And the fact of the matter is that when Obamacare is fully implemented, we're going to be in a position uh, to show that costs are going down. And over the last two years, health care premiums have gone up. It's true, but they've gone up slower than any time in the last two years. So I know you decided on health care like most people are, but clearly Barack Obama said something about the role of government and protecting people. What was it that was so positive about his message on health care? I, I thought his, his message was great. We want to protect the things that we have, and I, and I think that his plan does that. Um, there, there are certainly some, some good and bad in both ways, but I just felt like Romney was very noncommittal. He was as confusing as, as your shoes. <laughs> and he, he just he didn't have anything specific to really say how he was going to do it. Do you guys agree with that? Yes or no? My big thing was it wasn't so much that Obama said something that was positive. It was Romney said what his plan was, whether or not I agree with it. He said that when my generation hits that age, it's still going to be there. And I totally disagree with that. There's no way it's going to be there in 50 years when I, when I hit that 60, you know, 40, 50 years when I hit 60 years old. 
And you said Romney said that. No, Romney said, yeah, Romney said it'll be around when I turn 60 years old, but I totally disagree. There's no way. Your reaction? What I liked about Romney was that he said, it doesn't really matter yet the specifics of how I'm going to do what I say because I'm not going to go in with a plan and strong arm people. I have to work together. They can have the best plan ever, but if they can't bring both parties together, nothing's going to change. And Romney did talk about what he did in Massachusetts by bringing both parties together. Let's take a look at that dial clip because it was also one of Mitt Romney's highest. Let's take a look. First of all, I like the way we did it in Massachusetts. I like the fact that in my state we had Republicans and Democrats come together and work together. What you did instead was to push through a plan without a single Republican vote. As a matter of fact, when Massachusetts did something quite extraordinary, elected a Republican senator to stop Obamacare, you pushed it through anyway. So entirely on a partisan basis, instead of bringing America together and having a discussion on this important topic, you pushed through something that you and Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid thought was the best answer and drove it through. Now, they both had disagreements when it comes to the role of government in society. Which one connected to you more when they discussed the role of government, Romney or Obama? Who would say Barack Obama? <laughs> one Obama person here. And who says Mitt Romney? Okay, tell me why. Again, too much waste on big government. He's more specific, Romney is about specifically where the money's going to go. Romney talks more about personal responsibility, too, and I think we have gotten so far away from that in our country. Too many layers of government. Explain that. Well, what's happening to us is that now that Obama has added another layer, another group that's going to be looking at what we're going to do and how we're going to live our lives. I'm on Medicare. I'm already seeing things that I thought I was going to get. I'm losing. They're canceling my Medicare insurance because of it. Mark. It's very interesting that Romney talks about personal responsibility when he talked to the entire country because when he was behind closed doors, he uh, didn't want to care about 47% of Americans. Is that he was a talking attack? to a small. Uh, uh, you know, I think it is a fair attack. I think it's something he should have absolutely addressed. Publicly, it was like we're all, you know, we don't want a whole lot of government hands in the pie, but behind closed doors, he's saying something different. Michael, your reaction? It, he did hide a little bit behind closed doors, but um, he's saying now, and I hope to believe him, that he's for 100% of us. That's, that's, that's a problem of strategy. So, uh, but that's, 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 but that's let's, I want to stay with this debate of... because it was very yeah. significant that you guys walked in here undecided, and so many of you have moved towards Mitt Romney, and I want to understand why. But, but the discussion was about campaign strategy. Okay, stay with the topic. What moved you because of tonight's debates? I'm still undecided, but I think that very end thing, uh, the only thing I think he really, well, you said before, where we really scored Get high to the point. was because of his bipartisanship. What he did in Massachusetts, getting the Democrats and Republicans to work together, is what we need. And that's why he scored high. Mike. And back on the uh, role of government, uh, Romney stressed efficiencies and getting things done better for, to cost less. And he gave specifics. No, he didn't. No, he, didn't. he gave no specifics. Paula. No, specific Paula. Specific Tell me why. How many of you thought, regardless of who you thought won, how many of you thought Mitt Romney exceeded your expectations tonight? Raise your hands. Virtually everybody here. How many of you, again, regardless of who you thought won, thought Barack Obama fell short of your expectations? If Obama is watching, if President Obama is watching, he clearly is going to have to change his strategy between this debate and the one that he does uh, coming up in uh, 10 days' time because he did not do well with this group of swing voters here in Denver. Megan, back to you. Frank Luntz, thank you so much. So interesting listening to that, isn't it?